Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I'm your host, Matthew Horky. Hello, I'm Shireen Tan. And we're doing another uh, video with Dario Dermach from hello. The Wine and More and the Basement Bar. Hi. So we already did an introduction. If you didn't watch the previous video, then you should. We'll, we'll make sure that you get, get a chance to look at it. So let's jump right into the wines because we have three very interesting Croatian wines today. The first, you introduced us to this. This is the Shipun Sansigo from 2013. Now tell me about this wine, Dario. I, I forgot everything you told me about because it's so unique. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty unique wine. As far as I know, there's only one winemaker making that wine. It's uh, originally from the um, uh, island of Susak. Okay. And uh, it's a small sandy island. Uh, people like us like to call it. It's a sandy uh, wine yard. Because uh, on the, it's so small that only 200 people are living on that island. Wow. And that uh, variety on, almost was extinguished. And the uh, winemaker, uh, Shipun, he brought it to life, he, he, he makes only two varieties. So he makes this one, San Sigurd, and he makes Zlachtina. Is, is he on the island of Kirk now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How so, many bottles does he produce? I'm not sure, but it's not a lot, maybe like 10, 000, 5 to right. 10, I'm not sure. Yeah, we, we have not tasted, I mean, this is a, this, we did not come across this wine the first time. Uh, really nice. I would almost say it's even garnet already, wouldn't you say? Ah, it's hard to it's tell hard in this color. Yeah, it does look a little bit brown. Let's give it. Let's give it a little bit of a nose here. Lovely. Bedroom behind us probably loves this. This is like cherry wild. It's like if I went to the forest uh, and I was like looking to survive, and I found this big patch of like random wild berries. That's the kind of smell I come up with. We have a little bit of forest floor, right? Yeah. Cut grass. Anything else you like us? I feel a little bit of like a vanilla. Maybe. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. definitely some oak influence. Great Karen. This is showing really well. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. Let's give this a little bit of a whirl. It's acidic. It's wild. More red plum on the palate. Tannins, yeah, it's there. Very soft, chewy, sucking. The the, the tannins are like a Beaujolais Cru. They're uh -uh. they're quite they're quite soft. They're there. Anything else? You I could? don't know. I just like uh, the way you describe the wine. So <laughs> I think you said everything. Good choice. Really good choice. Hey guys, what do you think of it back there? I got the crew back there. Too much what? Oak. 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 Oh, it yeah. is. It is a little bit oaky. I thought you'd like the wildness. It's a little bit. I mean, for me, not everybody's gonna like this wine. Let's go. We're gonna. It's a little bit wild. Uh, for me, because I like wild wines, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this more in the 3.9 range for uniqueness of flavor. I mean, he's the one, one of the few people making this wine, right? Or yeah, the only one. I think he's the only one. But yeah, I, I mean, give him a break. He's doing I mean, a good job. <laughs> he's doing the awesome, awesome job because the grape variety almost died. Like, yeah. it was extinguished. And this is 13. The oak's going to soften, no problem, as uh, in a couple of years. Yeah. It has the acidity to age. Nice. Mm. Let's move on here. This is uh, one of your favorites, if I believe so, right? This is, a, yep. this is a producer in Slavonia, uh, becoming quite big. This is his top cuvee. This is the Josic uh, Sikonia Nagra cuvee from 2012 here. I got to pose because we had some picture, people taking pictures of us. <laughs> <laughs> I believe this is Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon, and... and uh, I think it's a little bit of uh, Syrah. This, right. in Syrah. This is his top wine. Uh, very hard to find the superior. So if you're in Croatia, superior has um, this nice golden label. It's his uh, top wine. This is uh, he's becoming quite trendy, if I'm not mistaken, right? I mean, he's the one of the most uh, known winemakers from uh, Podunavlje. Okay. It's basically um, 
part of Croatia that's uh, on the border with Hungary, mm -hmm. and uh, it's on the Danube River. So it has the right. it has like uh, most of the sunny most of sunny days in uh, in that part of the country, and has that like uh, sandy sandy uh, soil from Danube and everything else. So it, it's, I don't know I like the wine. And the story is also awesome because the, all the labels, wine labels, uh, are because the, close to his vineyard, it's a national park. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the bird on the on the label is from that national park, and Cicconia Nigra is a Latin name for the bird. Oh, so okay. Every, every label has uh, has right. the, the different bird on the, on the picture. And guys, we're talking about an upcoming book that Slavonia is a very underrated wine region. All the tourists go to Dalmatia. Istria is right on the border of Italy. Slavonia is really close to Hungary on the border of Hungary, Serbia. <laughs> it's what? uh, it, it's Badania. 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 Sorry, Badania. Part, part of that area. In, in, within that area, though, close by. Um, you know, we were in Dalmatia last spring, and some of the producers there said, we have to up our game because the reds from the continental part of Croatia are going to be better than ours pretty soon. Let's give this a sniff. Personally, I love the blend of three grapes, Cabernet mm -hmm. Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah. You get immediately a little bit of the olive oh, notes from Cabernet Franc. Really nice. You can also smell, you say it's a little bit hotter over there, yeah. right? The fruit is a, a lot more ripe. You even get the prune notes. You get pencil yeah. lead too from Cabernet Franc. You guys like this back there? Like like it a lot or just... Everybody is showing thumbs like up. Mm. I mean, uh, the nose is really rocking. People that really like... Um, you really like... It's like a blend to me from uh, maybe Loire and then Lean Bordeaux. Yeah. Uh, you got a lot going on here. Really nice. It's not as dirty as Loire, you know, the Cabernet Franc from Loire. This is nice. And it's like uh, he doesn't produce a lot of this wine. This this is like the superior. He has a lower uh, range wine. Right. It's just Cuvée. And uh, this is superior. It was it sold uh, more in the more in the barrel, and he usually doesn't put it in uh, magnum bottles. It's uh, regular bottles. I think he produces around two, three thousand of these of this wine, and that's it. I mean, real. I mean, right now, really nice pencil lead, dark cherry greens, really easy drinking. This is like a young Bordeaux without the harsh tannins. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I agree with you. It's like very Bordeaux tasting, but it's much smoother and really driven by cherry. I like the balance. I like the body. I like it so much, I'm going to drink like all of it. Yeah. No, it's <laughs> we, not a Magnum bottle. You guys have anything to add? Oh, everybody back there, their glasses are empty, by the way. So you, you liked it, right? It's, it's spicy. It's got it's spicy. But it's easy drinking. Like the tannins are sweet. It's the sweet spot, right? You get the spicy, the early, the fruit, everything. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go 4.2, borderline 4.3. I mean, it's excellent wine. I'm a big, big, big fan. Anything you wanna add? If I'm gonna warm myself up, I'm drinking this wine. All right, let's see. here. I'll trade you guys. You guys have this glass. Trade me for a fresh glass. I'll just trade you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Moving on. So, if you didn't see any of our previous videos or any research, as of right now, uh, they know in Croatia that Serjana Kastelinski is original Zinfandel. Uh, great story. It was, you know, there's only nine vines left on some random island in Dalmatia when the research team found it. Uh, mm -hmm. real, I think Serjana, for me, I like, like, you love it more love than it. Zinfandel. I don't like Zinfandel. I didn't like Zinfandel before I came to Croatia and then I tasted it to Leonard here and I decided to give Zinfandel a second chance. But I ended up coming back to this because I just find that it has more earthiness, more characters in this. This is the Vina Matella. Uh, this is a Serena Kastelinski. <laughs> 2013. Is that correct? Kastelinski? Kastelinski. Uh, what, what do you think about uh, this producer? I, I mean, we didn't come across him the first time. I love the donkey. On there. The donkey, yeah. yeah. That's, the, that's the original story. I mean, uh, so the, uh, as, as Matt said, like this was also all, all dead, dead wine, dead yeah. grape, uh, and uh, the story is uh, everybody knows the story about Zinfandel and Sergeyanka Solansky, and uh, nobody was producing the wine. Yeah, 
Italiana. It was all, almost extinct. And people are now, when uh, we found out about the relationship of, our, uh, of Zinfandel and Selena Kasharansky Primitivo, people are, are starting to like, produce the wine, it's coming back, and people are now making like awesome wines. Yeah, and uh, although the Montenegrins will have some beef, they think that Kratosia is the first original Zinfandel. That's what's known as in Montenegro and Macedonia. Anyways, let's give this a smell. People that like the big southern Italian reds, uh, American Zins, really going to like Sodiana Kastelensky, really ripe, concentrated. Brett, Brett, Brett. <laughs> there is some Brett in here. It's a little dirty, a little funky, which I like. Uh, it's a really complex wine. Yeah, there's, there's a lot going on here. You know what? It's, it's a sour cherry, dark plum. I feel like tannins. Okay. Let's give this a little bit of a taste, shall we? My mind. <laughs> sure. The tannins, like sweet, chewy. The, the tannins are like sweet. They're like, it's like gorgeous nectar. You know, the bitter part at the end. It's just so sweet. They're so ripe. It's firm, but it's just easy to drink. Uh, dark fruit, really yeah. tangy. Still re retains some acidity. What are you guys thinking back here of this? Really good, Zucky. <laughs> I was thinking. Latina. She's okay with it. Uh, I'm pretty high on it. You know, I get for me, my palate. I'm a little more excited about the Yosic. I think this is very good. I know it's a small producer, right? Yeah, it's a small producer. He also makes like a few thousand bottles. I mean, all the wines we picked, it's uh, something different, something special, just to show what do we have to now, offer. Yeah, and this is a cool thing about Dario. When I first met him, he gave us a nice tasting of all. You know, I thought I knew Croatian wine really yeah. well. All these tiny producers. Uh, for me, I like this. I'm not as excited about this. I'm going 3.8. I think it's very good still. You? I like it, but I think um, the bread is a little bit in the way. It can be a bit cleaner, but I like it. I still think yeah. um, it's dense. Tans are sweet. It's got nice structure. So, hey, another great tasting. Hey, thanks a Cheers. lot. Ching, ching. Any, really? any, anything else you want to add on these wines before we sign off? I mean, uh, the same, as, as I mentioned earlier, we try to promote uh, indigenous creation varieties and small producers that are not so commercial. So, uh, like most of these wines, you won't be able to find them anywhere else except in my like, basement and on Wine & More. Yeah. And on Wine & More, I, we didn't mention Wine & More any, anywhere else. I, I did no, I, I talked about it. I thought Wine & More a great place. So we, yeah. We're going to put a link in the description box. All these wines are available now, right, on it? Here in the basement, and we can, like, uh, you can order the wines on Wine & More and can, we can ship it whenever, wherever in the European Union. Yeah, within the European Union, they're working on America, I hope. Okay. <laughs> so, guys, if you like this video, Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Exotic Wine Travel. Come to Zagreb, check out Wine Bar Basement, check out the wine and more. Link will be below. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Cheers. Let's do Dingach now while the light is good.